Hey, what is up guys? This is Dexter here and welcome to a brand new discussion video because I'm gonna be real I really needed to talk about this because man This has been weighing on my mind for so long and I really needed to get my opinions out there So today I brought on a friend to talk about Animal Crossing New Horizons and Before we get into that, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey everyone, Francesco here. I a bit of a, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this when pronounce uh, my name when I say it in English, but whatever. It's uh, it's a pleasure for me to be your guest, and uh, I'm very interesting to hear all your questions and uh, the stuff you want to talk about. Yeah, no, for sure. Because first things first, what do we feel about the game? So you know, I think my audience kind of knows where I stood before, uh, but I'm just gonna let you, uh, you know, explain your side first. Yeah, well, as you already said, I'm quite critical of all games I play. Yeah, Animal Crossing is no exception, of course. Um, I had high expectations. I think everyone had uh, high expectations going in, uh, especially since the build-up has been yeah, quite long, and we we haven't had, we didn't get any information up until a month uh, until release. I remember your video about. Uh, about the game we should be cautious about Animal Crossing New Horizons and I was thinking about it a few days ago and there I say it, yeah it, it some some things that we were worried worried about uh when we talked about the game in, in the prior to release they they like these worries have come true at, at least for me I'm, I'm talking uh, about my own expectations of course so yeah, um, I have quite a lot of gripes uh, with with the game's current state. Uh. Yeah. So, well, okay. Well, bef before before we get into that, I I do want to tell my audience how my stance has kind of changed since I did my Animal Crossing viewer diary series, because there I was very uh, positive about the game for the most part, except for a few things. But those kind of uh, those kind of nitpicks that I had were really less like a nitpick and more like a legitimate flaw uh, the longer I started playing the game. So, for example, one thing that I uh, really di did enjoy and stu still do really enjoy was the whole setup of like you're on this deserted island and you have absolutely nothing. You need to build everything up. Um, but I think where that kind of I think they didn't go far enough with that kind of idea. I do kind of get why they did it, like the way they did it, because it the development of your island goes pretty fast. Like I expected this to be a month long process to get everything and it would be very slow, but even on your first day, you can do a lot. And while I think that is sort of necessary in order to, you know, have at least some things to do while you're kind of still figuring things out, it did kind of end up feeling like, okay, well, once you accomplish it, that's kind of that. It's kind of over. Like, there's nothing left for you. And I I feel like that was kind of, like, the, the biggest problem because they're adding a lot of stuff in updates. And I don't know. It was just something that I didn't really... Uh, you know, I think that's a big reason as to why I am playing the game so much less. I've actually kind of stopped playing the game. Uh, because there's just nothing left for me to look forward to anymore. Like, there's nothing to unlock. I have the the biggest shop. I have everything. I don't need to unlock anything anymore. And it's so it just kind of becomes a grind of doing the same things every day. There's nothing left to look forward to. The villagers have. Uh, we'll the get zero into. The, I th I, I, yeah, I th I think I think this is a problem. We'll get into more in a second. Of but course. I think the villagers are incredibly underwhelming and not at all fun to talk to. And yeah, I don't know. It's just like like the game should be a slam dunk, but there are so many th like little things that bring it down so significantly and have me just stop, make me stop playing the game. So how do you kind of feel about that? Yeah, I I'm you know I agree with you, but. Yeah, it, it's a bit difficult to determine uh, what exactly is the cause of this because the game is very bare bones, but at the same time, you, we have to admit they probably, they well, probably, I mean, they surely didn't see the whole pandemic coming, which meant we were at home with nothing to do. And so, yeah, from what I remember, I played like eight hours a day in the first few weeks. Uh, that means you're burning through all of the content the game has, which arguably isn't a lot. But 
and that's something that definitely takes away a lot of playtime uh, in the beginning uh, from the long run. And I, I think you also were online quite a lot in the few, first few weeks. Uh, yeah, that's true. Before Persona 5 Royal came out, at least. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, sure, we we had a lot of extra time to play the game. And uh, by we, I mean people all over the world uh, with all the different lockdowns in place in uh, various uh, countries. But at the same time, if you really look, uh, if you really take a good look at a game, there's really not much and i don't really i don't know how i feel about uh the splatoon kind of approach you're taking to updates um with drip feeding everything throughout the course of i don't know two or three years maybe like it sounds good on paper but i don't think it's working very well honestly like i I, you've probably seen the video they released yesterday for the um july update yes Okay, it adds diving, which I'm not a big fan of already. But okay, that's maybe that's just me because I know for a fact my girlfriend was is is very excited about it, and she kept um she kept talking and and asking me in the, the past few months actually. So when we didn't even know the the update was coming, she kept talking about oh uh, I remember diving from New Leaf. I want to dive again. It, it's so fun. And I like being in the water in Animal Crossing. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, there's surely people that are gonna like it, but to me, it's just another okay, like like when you go catching fish or go catching bugs, you know, it's just another of those things. And it's, I think it's at this point, it's just too little content for the time we waited for it. And yeah, don't they, don't get me started about um, Pirate Gulliver or well, Pascal uh, Pascal, I like him, but I mean, again. It's, like two new things in an update well three if you consider the extra the the new gulliver but yeah yeah it's uh it's pretty disappointing i'd say like that that update i was like expecting something huge like the the last update we got and it really wasn't that like i i do appreciate that you can actually like dive up like these creatures and you can like really uh, you know, do a lot more with them than you could at first, because I don't think you could donate them to the museum in New Leaf, right? Um, oh, I don't remember that, actually. I don't think that was a thing. They, there was a, uh, Collectopedia, though, uh, for the, um, for the, for the items you could, uh, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if you could donate them, donate them, but I don't remember, really. But, um, I was thinking about it yesterday when, when I saw the video and it's it, it feels like too little too late almost and, and I, I don't mean the game they're done updating the game after this update um, that, that's coming out next week but I mean we've had a whole month of June with just one event which was the same thing over and over I just played it once so I don't know if I missed out on something but I, it didn't look like it and my girlfriend who is also very excited about even the smallest new things just went one time to uh, harvey's island for for the photo shoot and and that's it and yeah we've been going for two months now without any updates and what we're getting now is pretty underwhelming i i don't want to be too negative because there's also the fact uh we have to take into account the developers are probably working from home but yeah, it's, it's just the fact that the base game launched with so little actual content. And there, there's a lot to talk about. And like, like you said, the villager dialogue. That there, There's too many gripes I have. That I, I wrote a... Yeah, do we want to call it? I wrote a short essay um, last year for school about the future of Animal Crossing. Because what we saw from the E3 uh, trailer in 2019 put the focus... Uh, very much on customization and player expression, which is a thing uh, many games nowadays make make their main mechanic, if we can um, call it call it like that. And I understand why it's a trend that started. Well, I I don't know when it started actually, but it's <laughs> it's become really really mainstream with Minecraft. You know where you can customize everything, build the the game world to your liking. And it's, it's been kind of a trend since the first Animal Crossing, of course. But I was worried when I wrote the short essay that it would be 
the 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 focus of the game would go would shift from this community you live in and being part of the the everyday life uh, the the focus would shift from this to the customize everything so instead of participating in this world um where you're a part of so in yeah so you can it's a form of escapism you know you instead become the one to um to control everything control everything which is yeah it, it's just something that is, is not very animal crossing to me and when you add to that the fact that villager dialogue and unless you want to talk about this uh, later on in the in, in this conversation um the, the villager dialogue is just so bland and they say things about what you are doing instead the day prior instead of um telling you something about them i i don't care I mean, it's it's okay if they say like I like they saw me fishing a day ago. That that's fine if someone brings that up. But every time I talk to the villagers, it's a constant reminding me of my activities the day prior. And it, it's yeah. At some point, I got really tired of it, and I, I barely even bother talking to them anymore. What's funny though, I stopped playing a few days and then i picked it up again because of course i mean it's it's for me uh, the relaxing part part of it is just walking around on the island you know and just taking it all in that's that's what i like and when i talked to uh, some of my villagers they actually brought up some interesting conversations because they didn't have anything didn't have anything to talk about about the the stuff uh, i did the day prior because i didn't play the day prior so they um, started bringing up new um, kinds of conversations about themselves and more uh, akin to the kind of conversations you had in uh, Wild World, for example, or um, New Leaf. I did play City Folk, by the way. So it it's funny because the stuff is there, but for some reason it never shows up and unless you play a few times a week. It's almost as if the game discourages you from checking in every day and yeah doing your daily chores it's like when you when you talk multiple times to a villager they say oh haven't i seen you a lot today which i think they did also in the other games but it's just so prominent in this one and you know it clashes with with some of the new main mechanics like what the villagers are saying and how they behave so said like saying have we talked before already it, it, the game is telling you don't talk to them too much you're talking too much to them or the fact that that they don't bring up um stuff you you did because you didn't play and you get new conversations so it's rewarding you for not checking in well there's some other stuff that says you have to check in every day like the the, the nook miles or the stuff that you if you don't check in on, well let's say on wednesday maybe you you missed crazy red and so it's it's kind of contrasting the the message the game is um is giving you as a player yeah no i think you've made some great points there actually it's something i never really thought about because the yeah i i will agree i already kind of brought this up in uh my viewer diaries but man the villager dialogue was like it was it was painful like to 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 sit through them telling you about you know like things you already know or things that aren't really that interesting at the end of the day or feel very <laughs> aren't. feel very like i don't know inorganic like they they feel like something not a lot of people not not a lot of people would necessarily say and it didn't really feel like in the prior games where you, when you talk to your villagers often they kind of grow more attached to you like they tell you hey what kind of nickname do you want me uh, to give you right. i don't i don't know if that's actually in this game do, do they I... give you different nicknames they do give you different nicknames and they also approach you they will say stuff like uh, hey dexter i heard i don't know i heard rosie calling you lollipop can i call you lollipop as well which is fine but they do it way too often and, uh, it's funny because you you bring up the fact that they never asked you whereas my girlfriend gets asked this uh, a lot they they 
ask her uh, if they can give her a new nickname, if they can call her the nickname, um, other animals call her. And I, I do get the same request very, very often. They also approach you asking you if you want to buy a t-shirt or they just give it to you. But I'm not interested, man, in buying your t-shirt. It's If, if it happens from time to time, you like in, in the other games, I maybe I didn't even want it, but you know, they're cute and you're friends, so you want to do them a favor, but it, it's become very spammy in this, in this, uh, in this entry. Yeah, no, that, that, uh, that is something, I don't know, like that, that is a huge part of, uh, of what I thought was like really kind of, kind of off-putting about this game. The, what I, what I did mention before about the, uh, me not getting that prompt about the nicknames. I, I'm not sure if that was actually the case. I just don't remember necessarily. Like, it's been a month since I've even touched this game, so I don't really remember how frequent it is. But now that you've mentioned it, I, it does kind of get get some gears, uh, gears turning in my head, so I think you might be onto something. But that being said, though, like, I don't want to be all negative about it. Like, I... I, I, I will acknowledge that I really do think that the villager dialogue is probably the worst thing about this game. It's very spammy, very, uh, very frequently you'll see the same thing. Villagers, uh, like you've sent me videos of villagers, you know, talking to each other. Uh, or like when you talk to a villager, one says one thing and the other says literally word for word the exact same thing. The exact same thing. That, that's, that's when you have, uh, yeah, villagers with the same personality, which are bound to have of. Uh, which are bound to have um, but i i like that's the thing yeah. i i don't recall this ever happening in prior games because i feel like the the dialogue pool that they drew from was just way larger and it i was. and i don't know like like some certain types of conversations would come up less frequently and i think that's like the, one of the biggest problems with animal crossing new horizons and like as far as it goes to the community kind of aspect but i will say going back to a bit more of the positive side i do think that there is a lot to love about this game too like the game looks amazing like the it, game it, looks, it looks amazing absolutely incredible like the the way the lighting reflects off of different surfaces like the way that the villagers go about their things and like you see them uh doing these doing these activities like they're doing yoga in the plaza or whatever like i don't know what the, what the hell they do but you know s stuff like that and yeah. like you kind of were like kind of skeptical about the uh about the uh you know kind of more player expression oriented stuff and i honestly like i do think that it really adds another kind of layer to the game that you know wasn't really there before like i i remember in in New Leaf, when you were going to do a public works project, it was a pain to it was horrible to it, place it really them. Was. It was absolutely awful. Like you couldn't place them near water, you couldn't place them near buildings. Like basically everywhere you would possibly want them was basically off limits, and you would have to like figure out some kind of compromise. You had to work around it. But I think that system has been improved so much in this game being able to place furniture outside is a godsend it is better than the public's work public works projects in every single way and i like i love that i i i think the the the, the way they tweak the player expression in this game was just really great and i do i while i do agree that it might you know kind of take away that sort of you know you're kind of part of something and you don't necessarily control it that kind of aspect that the prior games had i do think that the way the systems are now uh honestly kind of allow the game to potentially thrive for a longer time uh though i do do agree that they have kind of sacrificed the community aspect too much i think they should have found a bit more of a happy medium in between yeah uh but yeah there's definitely stuff i love about this but gonna go back into the negatives here again because i don't know if you've had the same thing but the music pisses me off like i i am so sick of the music well, in, in, in new horizons yeah there's something to be said about the um about the synthesizer which is super prominent in the soundtrack yeah like 
uh, I don't know what what hour it is. I don't know if it was like four or five p.m. But that song, like that, the, the it's it's I, I I don't know which part it is. But I'll probably like probably play four, a br br brief clip of it or something. But I that know for song sure. pisses me off so much. Like like the the high pitched kind of. Yeah, I don't know what kind of instrument synth it's synthesizer, synthesizer it's supposed to be. Like, is it? I don't know what's kind of what kind of in instrument it's supposed to represent, but it's just really, really prominent. And like, I don't think generally the music kind of reflects that re relaxing vibe that New Leaf used to have, where I would log in and it would really feel like I'm just really really winding down and being really relaxed and I don't feel that way about this soundtrack there are definitely some tracks that do kind of evoke that feeling but I think they went for a more high energy soundtrack this time around and I don't think for Animal Crossing it works um just to get back to uh, which which one uh, which uh, track annoys you is it the one that goes like um do 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 uh, no, not that one even. I think that one is. Oh, then it's then it's, it's like for. Oh, that's two. That's two yeah. p.m. And I actually I like it. You know, <laughs> that's the one. That's one of the tracks I like. I like the most. It's uh, it's two p.m. And I really love that one. But I can understand why it's grating. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I, yeah, I can't stand that one anymore. Like I. I don't know, like, it, it's, it's, it's not my thing, it's not my thing. Yeah, so, um, to contribute to your point, um, I like the music, and it's a little less Animal Crossing than I hoped for. Yeah, I, I also agree about the fact um, that the different tracks don't always reflect the hour um, they're being played at. So, for example, if we take um, 7 p.m., it's, that one's a real standout for me. Like uh, 7 p.m. in Animal Crossing Wild World was good. In New Leaf, it was awesome. And I really like 7 p.m. in New Horizons as well. But then you have tracks like 5 p.m., which in, in the case of this game is really upbeat, funky. Well, uh, yeah, it's a really upbeat, it's a, a beat funky track. And while, while I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan of the genre. I don't think it, it has its place in Animal Crossing, you know? Yeah. It's a good track, but not in this game. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. With with a lot of the soundtrack, honestly. Yeah. I, uh, I I don't think it's nearly as strong as the, uh, the soundtracks from prior games. And yeah, that's something I was honestly just kind of disappointed by after a while. Like, at first they're fine, but once you hear them over and over and over and over, like they, I don't know, they're really grating to me now. I, I don't, I don't enjoy them anymore. Yeah, I, what I also, I'm not a big fan of how prominent the synthesizer is. Like it also feels as if the tracks are less different, like between them. Yeah, no, absolutely. I absolutely get what you mean. I kind of feel the same way. Like a lot of the tracks don't really, where I could easily tell you whether something is supposed to be a night track or something is supposed to be like a day track. Like I could easily make that distinction in New Leaf, I feel exactly. like. Maybe I'm a little biased because I played that game so much and that soundtrack is ingrained into my brain, but I feel like I can't really do that with this soundtrack because I feel like I, I think of tracks like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., which I think, I, I don't know which one I'm thinking of, but there, it, it still feels a bit too energetic for 2 a.m., you know? Like, I don't know. Exactly, and I woke up one morning. On the morning of the 1st of June, I couldn't sleep, and so I woke up and I said, well, you know what? I'm not gonna fall asleep uh, because I know how it works when I wake up too early and I have a bit of a back pain. So I went to the uh, living room, I booted up the game and I kind of had an epiphany, which probably sounds stupid. Um, it felt really, really good to play at that hour, maybe because there were also new fish uh, because of you know of the, of the change of month of months. And so there was some new stuff to catch, okay, but the whole 
uh, I was asleep. Every shop was closed, and it was like you could see uh, the sun had already risen a bit. And the music fit the mood really, really well. It was awesome. And then 7 a.m. started, and the music started getting strangely energetic. And I thought, oh no, come on, why? Whereas um, the 8 a.m. music is also energetic, but it's really, really, I, I think it's more fitting because that's usually the time people get up. And so it, it wants to motivate you uh, to start your day. And yeah, but it, it's, it has its highs and lows, which honestly, I'm okay with um, considering the other, the other things I don't like, which are a uh, much bigger issue to me. Yeah, no, absolutely. So... I think there's kind of like two big points that I that I still want to get into uh, before we go to the updates, which I think is also like a really interesting thing to talk about where the game could potentially go. But there are two big parts of this game that I, I I've partially addressed one of them before, which is the terraforming or like the the <laughs> talent customization, I guess. Yeah. Because okay, I think you. Uh, I, I mean, I've told you this obviously, but. Uh, like early on when I was first playing, uh, starting to play the game and I had just unlocked the terraforming, I was like, all right, I'm going to do something really cool. I'm going to make like a sort of round lake in, in like uh, on the top layer of my, of my island. And then I'm going to have it like go down on the sides as like waterfalls. And then the, the river, then it'll go to the river and it'll flow through my town. Like some sort of like, you know, like a water disc at the top and then like all the water flowing down and i was like okay that might be achievable like i know you need to have an edge around your landscape so you know i need to you know find a way to do that but i think that you know that should be very reasonable but there are two big issues that i really ran into while doing this i first off it is such a chore to do it like it is horrible it, it is so slow you have to do everything one by one like i i kind of get it for from like the purest angle and you know you're just one guy doing it but i feel like even having a two by two working radius would have added like would have helped out by a lot like that would literally cut down the time you spend doing this in half i spent literally three hours making just or, or more. I really don't know even how long <laughs> it was at this point. I spent such a long time just preparing the land for what I wanted to do. And if you're going to have this in the game, I feel like at least make it kind of user friendly. You know, like if you're going to allow us to do this, don't make us do one block at a time, one block at a time. But uh, you know that user friendliness in Nintendo don't really go along uh, very well. Yeah, that that is definitely <laughs> true. Unfortunately. But then there's the 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 second issue I have with the terraforming and that is basically it looks awful. Like it looks so bad when you try to when you try to like uh when you try to do something that the game didn't really account for very much it shows like it looks very bad for example uh one thing that i wanted to do was have uh you know round off some cliffs and then have a river running alongside it so you know just have a cliff and just the river right beside it but when you do that there you is still that. this weird <laughs> edge of of grass sticking out like under the under the wall and it looks really bad. And I don't know why you can't just round that off. Like that, that is such a huge oversight to me. And it was such a disappointment when I found out like, oh man, this is gonna look absolutely terrible. So I should probably just like, you know, revert everything and just have my town or my island the way it was because I don't like how this looks in the slightest. That is two of the biggest issues I have with the terraforming. Like it is, it is both like very freeing but at the same time it's incredibly limiting i think it's it, yeah i don't know about the limiting part but i agree on the on the it's limited part 
um, like yeah, like the what you mentioned about the corners not being rounded um, when you like when, when you make a uh, when you make a river. So that that's something I definitely got um, I definitely got frustrated about. At the same time, I'm quite okay with the uh, current implementation, like doing one block at a time. I mean, it's it's okay for me. <laughs> it it works. I take my time, and I understand that everything has to be fast, uh, because that's also the nature of the game. Taking things slowly, you know. I yeah. Um, to conclude, I I see your point, but to me it's not a big problem. It's but I, that's one of you know everything's so personal <laughs> in and yeah. uh, the, the things we criticize, and I I know for a, I know for a fact. A lot of people um, feel the same way uh, as you do, and that yeah, they uh, I'm sure they could have handled it better. That definitely. Okay, so this is the fi- this this is the final point of concern that I really have with this game because this is like probably one of the hugest ones, and I seriously don't know how this happened. The multiplayer is absolute oh my god garbage. It yeah, is it is so it bad. Is. That's like one of those things, yeah. It, 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 like I, I seriously do not know how this is still this bad in 2020. Uh, like this how? is, <laughs> this is literally this worse than d- the new Leaf multiplayer. It's literally worse because, like, okay, oh, I say like Leaf multiplayer. I mean, I'd say the systems are pretty similar, like how, the way joining works and the way like connecting to other players works. But there's just less to do. Like you just go to each other's yeah, islands sure. and that's it. And but I feel like you know the the way the joining and leaving worked. I feel like it was kind of still sort of excusable in the way that it was on the 3DS and it was like an early 3DS game. Like I don't know. I I kind of get it. It wasn't optimal. It was definitely not perfect. But I kind of understand it. But now we're on the Switch. We're in 2020, and I feel like why is this still an issue like why can't the joining and leaving just be seamless why can't people just hop on in you don't have to sit through a loading screen every single time someone joins or leaves you can just do your thing and that is probably the biggest part because i you know i feel like this is probably a sort of personal complaint but when i was hosting a few animal crossing streams with viewers it was an absolute nightmare like you had to sit through a loading screen every time and every time someone tried to join they had to sit waiting in lines the the like the the someone would have a then someone would have a bad connection and everyone would get kicked out and had to rejoin it was an absolute disaster and i just yeah, don't I, I just don't understand how this is why this is the way it is i, I just state, don't get it the state of um multiplayer and this game in 2020 is is inexcusable it's i i mean both from the content side of things like stuff uh, stuff to do or stuff you can't do and the um the infrastructural side of things uh is even worse i think and uh, you you're saying it's uh, it's a uh, it can be it could be uh, a personal complaint of yours but no it's it's i think it's a valid complaint after all i mean they've been putting out these um short videos up to the game's release uh, prior to the game's release uh where they show eight people um playing together so th- that's definitely one of the use cases um they they thought of when implementing multiplayer and having eight people like uh, waiting for eight people um to come on an island to get on an island it, it, it just takes ages you might as well go and have a lunch uh, while, while you wait and even then uh, as you said when if someone has a weak connection there's a connection error well for, just forget about it because you're gonna have to do everything all over again it's it's just uh, inexcusable and even more so because we're playing for uh we're paying for the uh, inexistent online service um, the, the nintendo switch online service which also um 
but but this is this is another thing you can uh, you cannot um, download and use uh, other people's designs if you don't pay for uh, the online subscription, which is just ridiculous. But yeah, that's, that's besides the point. Yeah, no, that that is definitely something that I I just I cannot find any any sort of justification for why this is the way it is. And well, just one thing, maybe um, the the only thing I can think of which could excuse the state of uh, some of the things uh, in regard to multiplayer uh, is the fact that um, your game or your console has to upload um, and share your island with the other ones. So that's, you know, when you get the animation, someone's coming to your island, uh, like um, like one of those airport um, arrival hall uh, screens. Uh, where you see who's coming that's the part I think where your game is sending information about your island um, to the other player so maybe it could be faster we don't know but I think that's probably why um, there's such a long waiting time it's it's I mean it's uh, it's terrible I know but it's probably there for a reason let's 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 just say that I guess, but even so, like, why does everything need to stop in order for someone else to join? I feel like that is something that could absolutely happen simultaneously. I, like, I'm not that, you know, that that much of a, of a game dev, so I can't know for sure, obviously, but I feel like there have to be better solutions than that. Like, there's no yeah, way... We can only make assumptions about this. But... Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it... It has to be possible. There, there's, there's just no way that this is something that can never be fixed and can never be overcome. Because if so, then I think if the, if the multiplayer is in any way similar to this when the next game eventually comes out, people are going to be very upset. Like, I, I can't stress enough, I think, how important it is that they get this right next time because I think this is... Part of the reason why a lot of people just don't bother with multiplayer anymore. Like, they're kind of just like, man, I really kind of want to show my friends my island, but I might as well just send them, like, a video of the the Nintendo Switch uh, sharing feature because, you know, I don't want to sit through, like, 30 hours of loading screens, you know? Like, I don't know. I, I, I think that's what's going to kill multiplayer in the end. I don't... I don't know how big of uh, an impact it's going to have on the next entry when and if it comes because if we if we look at the fact the game move has moved away from its its main the, the fact you're living in a community and now it, it has it shifted the focus to um customization <clears throat> like there's the, the the fan base or or the people who played previous titles are very annoyed by this because I read comments on Reddit uh, and other um, online communities all the time uh, who point this thing out. But you have to take into account the fact that there's also a lot of people who are just constantly sharing their creations, their island, their designs what have you um and people are going nuts about this there's trailer there's movie trailers we made in animal crossing there's memes all over the internet remade in animal crossing or new memes made with animal crossing um new horizons and so i i fear this is going to um like take over or um overshadow the other really big issues um, the game has. If you go on the Animal Crossing uh, Reddit front page, I, I don't know if, I, <laughs> if I'm if i allowed to say this, but it's a complete shithole of people just showing off their stuff and, and commemorating dead parents or um, dead family members and asking for, for upvotes, which is, is another question uh, in itself, I know. But the fact that there's no actual discussion uh, about anything the game has to offer except for showing off what they made it, I think like you know people at Nintendo could be looking at this and saying hey guys we're actually doing pretty well and 
maybe if this is the state of multiplayer, people don't even care, you know? Even though there are, um, in fact, countless articles uh, pointing out the flaws, I, I don't know how much um, Nintendo is going to take um, these articles into consideration when all is said and done. Yeah, no, I, uh, let's just say I really hope that that isn't what's going to happen in the future because then I feel like uh, Animal Crossing as we know it, th this might be like the last sort of, sort of thing we have with that. So oh. I really hope that isn't the case, but you know, I also realistically see that point and I think it might be true. It might happen at some point, which would really make me sad because there's really nothing like like Animal Crossing. There's nothing really, like there it. There is nothing like it. it. It pains me to acknowledge that I have to acknowledge the fact that it's it's like the main, the core idea. It, it's like you know let's make a comparison with pokemon like the core idea of pokemon is to collect them all and to let players communicate and be together it's like if they took the collecting part of pokemon away in order to favor uh, favor i don't know on um, <laughs> exploration which is of course something the pokemon games have always been known for but it's yeah, I don't know. They're not taking away something that was always there and replacing it with something else, which you might say, okay, it's a change for the better. But this really is a change of the core aspect, which made the game what it is. I totally get it. And yeah, that that is something that I that I'm kind of starting to come to terms with as well. Like it's just not this. It's it's probably in the future. There's a good chance that it won't be the same. And yeah. you know what? If that's the way it's going to be, then, you know, so be it. I will I will still, obviously, always check out the new Animal Crossing games if they ever do come out. And, you know, that, that will obviously be a thing. But, you know, it, 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 it is saddening to kind of see that some of the other core mechanics or, like, ideas are getting neglected in favor of other ones. And, yeah, that that is something that I think, at least for this game, might be a good segue into that, but I think some of this might be fixable, I guess, when it comes to updates. Like, I think it's so... It's definitely fixable. But I think... The, the I, I think is, some are they gonna fix it? That That is really the question, and I... Like, so... Personally, I don't think they will, but I hope they do. And, like, I think... The prior updates we've gotten are kind of like I, I think that's to the point which we can probably expect to see in the future i think the first update was something they really you know they they really had something to prove like they really uh, wanted to make sure like okay you know when we release a new update things are going to be exciting things are going to be new and there's going to be a ton of stuff added and i think that's kind of the same what they're doing with this uh double summer update i think the only reason why they're splitting it in two parts is because, you know, the because of the virus going on. I don't know, it's kind of weird to to not really know how this is going to turn out in the end. If, like, we're going to end up loving this game in, like, a few years. Or if it's going to, you know, just kind of leave the, the quote-unquote problems that we've addressed kind of untouched and just adding new stuff. I, I do think the content problem will be fixed with this, obviously, but stuff like villager dialogue, Stuff like the multiplayer, I don't think that that is something that's really going to be delved into too much. I think that they'll just leave um, the dialogue and the multiplayer as is, and that they're slowly going to add um, all the the other missing things like uh, like the cafe and maybe maybe a few shops. I don't know. Yeah, we've seen from the data mines that um, a uh, that the dream suite is probably coming and that's good stuff but i can't um i can help but wonder um why like i can see why they're taking this approach because it's you know it's marketing and it gives them it gives them a reason or it gave them time to um develop maybe all the new um customization uh stuff in order to release the game early or earlier so i kind of get the idea behind 
the, the slow drip feeded updates. But yeah, it, it's worked well for Splatoon, but I'm not sure if I like uh, the same approach for Animal Crossing. And uh, the thing is, we had the basic stuff from the beginning. And at some point, we all ran out of um, things to do, which also um, has to do with the, the whole pandemic thing, of course. So I don't really blame Nintendo 100%. But what I fear the, release, the slow release of updates is going to do now that everyone, or well, everyone, now that a lot of players have like churned through all of the game's content is, okay, here's your update nice everyone's happy people go to check it out they play i don't know four maybe five times to check out the new stuff and then it's back to the shelf again with the game you know and uh, until the next update and that's really a shame when i think that um having a lot more content from the start will have meant spreading all this content over the course of a few months because you couldn't possibly have the physical time to do everything at the same time you get you do you get what i mean yeah no i to i totally i totally get it it's yeah i i i, I kind of i get the approach i get why they did this as well like definitely marketing is a part of it but i also feel like the uh i, I don't know kind of the time traveling aspect was kind of like a part of it because often people would just you know time travel and get everything they wanted uh, basically a few days after release and I mean that's totally on them but it's totally on them yeah that's totally on them but I and also feel time. like for a <laughs> for the community uh, who you know is more kind of a I guess you could say a purist uh, you know who you know just want to look at Animal Crossing content online and see what kind of people are saying about it and then they might get spoiled by something that they didn't really want to see so I kind of get that they're locking these like for example the events and sort of the other uh you know some of the sh some of the shops i can or like the some of the characters i can kind of see locking away like if you would would have needed to unlock them otherwise but i do agree that it has made for you know you run through all the content it's it's done uh, like I, I i've seen everything there is basically and then once a new update comes out i'll check it out for a few days and then it's done Exactly. And, yeah, I, th I think you're whereas, totally right on the money there. Where I have, whereas playing New Leaf, I played a whole year and then I, I quit Cold Turkey because um, villagers will play will will place um, their houses <laughs> randomly where I planted flowers or trees. So that really frustrated me, and I, I'm very happy to see they fix this um, in this game. So awesome, awesome job, uh, Nintendo, on that part. But these updates, you were talking about the fact that time travelers now have to wait real life months uh, to unlock something because of um, because Nintendo is going to release the update uh, with the with uh, the seasonal event when it is the right season in the real world. And while I definitely understand that, um, the, the, there's a yeah there's a difference between a uh, festivity and stuff like being able to dive for example which is uh, one of the which is the main thing being added in the next update i mean people in the southern hemisphere are <laughs> are mm, the, i think winter's just about to start there or if it, i don't know if it's already winter but um yeah it's already winter of course <laughs> <laughs> but uh seeing as it's summer here but um these people are now getting um, the ability uh, to swim, which uh, they can. They can. I mean, they can swim. And the game doesn't tell you it's too cold to do it, but it, it's strange, you know. It's just something that makes no sense. Locking behind an update since you had it in, uh, since you had it since day one in uh, New Leaf, for example, and it would have made much more sense for those people living in Australia, for example. To be able to swim yeah, since the summer was ending there when they started uh to play the game they could have just implemented it for the, from the start for everyone like i i feel the the swimming and diving part is not necessarily something that's tied to seasons and in this case you're just pissing people off because it's it's uh it's winter in another part of the world 
Yeah, no, absolutely. That is something that, yeah, the, the game definitely could have used some of the features that were introduced in the updates at the launch, for sure. Like, I still don't understand why paintings and statues weren't there at the start. Like, that should have absolutely been there. It's been a staple Animal Crossing kind of mechanic feature uh, since the original, and I don't get why it was removed. It's uh, it's 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 really really strange. I don't. It's I don't... mind. It's really mind-boggling. It's oh, yeah. Also, the fact that uh, Red doesn't come to your island on a fixed day, uh, once a week. I mean, I never completed my um, art collection in Wild World. I never did a new leaf uh, with Red coming once a week in both games, and now I have to wait. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know how long I have to wait because he comes randomly. Maybe even he doesn't. He doesn't even show up for a whole month. And there's more art in this game than ever. So when the hell are we supposed to complete our collections? Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, that. Totally agree. I don't think I have much more to add to it than that. But I will. To end things off, I will say I am optimistic for the updates. I think when this when this game is all, you know, done, it's all over, there's no more updates coming, I think Animal Crossing New Horizons will probably be one of the most packed Animal Crossing games by far. I think that if these updates are going to go for at least like two years, I think we're going to be looking at a very packed game with content and there's going to be a lot to do. But that being said, it is a shame that when this game came out and it was really at the peak of its hype, there really wasn't much, much, yeah, a lot there to dig into. So that is one of the biggest problems, I think, that the game faces. But I am optimistic that some of these things will get ironed out in the future. So I am, uh, I'm optimistic. Yeah, well, the developers already said um, they're planning on uh, keeping people playing for um, two to three years. So I think uh, we can safely expect um, at least two years worth of uh, content updates. But at this point, I'm left wondering if it might be a better um, strategy for us, uh, for us players to just we're getting like uh, bored of the game to so just put it aside and play it in I don't know maybe two three years when all all ten has has been released so you get everything from the start with a lot more stuff to do and, and to enjoy yourself instead of waiting for months just to get a small little thing which you'll check out maybe four or five times and then put the game away again so I'm I'm considering just with yeah just maybe playing the game again in a year or so which of course i'm not gonna do because i like some of the aspects and it, it it's a relaxing game after all uh, after i mean it's it's impossible to not pick it up after a long day uh of work even with with some with a few days in between but you know that i have this idea in my mind there's this voice saying well, just just start it over again in a year when everything's there and you will have uh, probably a much better experience it's uh, left to be seen we don't know frankly so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a weird time but you know we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what it brings and um yeah with that said do you have anything else you uh you want to touch on before we end things off here no i think uh we touch upon almost every point and I, i'm i'm sad it's it, it's been almost um only negative points actually because the game also does um some things right but yeah um let's let's hope for the best and uh thanks for having me yeah no problem so with that said i uh, i want to thank you all so much for watching if you like well i mean i guess this is more of a more of a podcast i just have some random background footage playing in the background but if you liked it, regardless, press that like button and uh, leave a comment about what you think about Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'd love to uh, get the discussion going further in the comments down below. And with that said, stay tuned to this channel for probably some more Animal Crossing content in the future and other stuff coming as well. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.